Good, good evening. This is Prophet Bill Stallworth of the Living Word of God Worldwide Evangelistic Faith Ministries. Greeting in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Great is the Lord. Yeah. And great that you be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another, another word uh, is that uh, uh, I, I want to talk, the Lord wants to talk about to the men. It's faith that changes not. Faith that changes not. A faith that endures. Hey God, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith that changes not. A faith that endures. And and I'm 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 on, I'm going to pick this up at uh at uh I'm going to read this from a Luke a 17 starting at the at the fifth verse. And the apostle said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto the sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the, in the sea, and it should obey you. Faith that changes not a faith that endures. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus talks about the, the characteristics of a mustard seed. But one, but, but, one, but one characteristic that he doesn't mention is that is, a mustard seed cannot be, cannot be hybridized. It, 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 it can't be changed. You cannot change it into anything else. Uh, it's going to stay a mustard seed. It isn't going to change. So, when, when say, and we got to say, God, God is talking to the priests, and uh, he says, remember that I'm the, uh, I'm the Lord thy God, and I change not. Therefore, you priests are not consumed. God doesn't change. He is the same. He's a God of, of endurance. Uh, yes, whatsoever thing I desire, when I pray, believe that I receive them, I shall have them. Yes. But sycamine trees and mountains are stubborn. And Jesus never told us when we will have them, but he said that we will have them. When you speak to a mountain in faith, and that mountain stares you in your face, you, you have to have faith that changes not. Faith that won't waver. See, that, that was the truth behind Abraham's faith. It changed not. For 25 years, it remained the same. And, 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 and see, The scripture says that we are not to be slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. The word patience in, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, in the Greek, it means endurance, it means perseverance, it means continuance. It says, be followed, that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and endurance Perseverance, continuance, what inherit the promises. If Abraham had to inherit his promise like that, guess what? You and I got to go in the same direction. God, God, God isn't going and, 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 and give us another direction to go in, and he called Abraham is the father of the faithful. This is this 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 is the way the father of the faithful Eshaba. This is the way that he had to go, but now all of a sudden, we can go in another direction. No, 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 no. You have to have faith that change not, faith that endures, faith that will faith that will persevere, 
Faith that will stay a course of action that is taken for Christ. Uh, that's the word continuous means. The Holy Ghost gave me a definition of, of continuous a long time ago. Uh, I, I, be a, a, a continuous is the ability to stay a course of action that, that you're taking for Christ without changing your mind and all hell break loose against the course of action that you've taken for, for Christ. Now the, now the Greek says to be steadfast with a person or persons throughout to the, to the end. Well, see then, you and I have to have faith that endures, faith that perseveres, faith that, that, that continues, faith that is still oh, hold of faith that is steadfast until the end until uh, uh, let me let me uh, uh, let, let me read this let me let me find it right quick uh, first Peter first Peter I want to read this here first Peter 1 1 and 7 the Holy Ghost says go ahead and read it Bill. and I'm gonna start at the I'm gonna start at the uh, at the uh, Fifth, at the fifth verse, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptation. It says, it says, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptation. You are, you are in distress. You are in grief through manifold trials and tests, one behind another. Have you ever had trials and tests a lot like that? One behind another? Oh yeah, they will come. And they will bring grief to it time, depending on the person whose faith is being tried and tested. He said, he says, and the seven verse says, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, it might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. You know, uh, um, in uh, in Proverbs it says, "Oh, I want to quote it, but the Lord says, oh, oh God, you want me to? Let me go find this. Let me go find this. Right, 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 quick, right, quick, right, quick." Right quick. Uh, Proverbs 13 and verse 12. It says, Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire is come, it is a tree of life. That, that word hope means expectation, it means anticipation. God says an expectation or an anticipation that is deferred. That, that, that word deferred in the Hebrew means purposely held back. Do you know God will purposely hold back upon us? Why? Because there's something he needs to work out of you. There's something he needs to work the oh, Holy Ghost in you. God will purposely you have an expectation. That's why it says, hope deferred make of the heart sick. God says, yes, when your expectation don't come or your expectation don't come when you want it to, I know how you feel. You're sick. Your heart is sick, he's saying. He said, but I purposely held it back. Now, go back to 1 Peter 1 and 7. That the trial of your faith let me let me go find it again. God said, "Don't read it. Go find it." Okay, I'm gonna go go find it again. All right. Uh, okay. He says, he said that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish, though it be tried with fire. That word fire there in the in, in the Greek, it means the holiness of God that consumes every thing that is inconsistent with itself. When your faith is on trial and it's hot, God is saying, What is going on? The holiness of God is consuming everything in your life that is inconsistent or holy ghost with holiness. Understand me? God just don't try our faith to be trying our faith. Because he's mean and he's cruel? No. No. It has, 
it has a beneficial effect or a beneficial purpose, a beneficial hold on, a beneficial end. When your faith is on trial, it has a beneficial end. The same way, that's why faith has to endure. That's why faith cannot change. It has, it has to remain the same like a grain of mustard seed. It will not change when it's, when, when it's in the fire. It, it isn't going to change. Abraham's faith didn't change on God. Holy Ghost, glory be to God. That you be not slow, but follow of them who, who through faith and patience inherit the promises. For when God made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater, he swear by himself, saying, Surely blessed I will bless thee and multiply and I will multiply thee. So after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. That word patiently there in the Greek, it means with length. For 25 years, the man had to wait for Isaac. But it was the attitude that he had, though, that pleased God. Holy Ghost, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Yes, we're going to wait. But God said, what is your attitude when you're waiting? Now, let me, let me get back. Let me get, let me get back to this. Okay. He says, Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor at the glory and, uh, and glory at the appearance of Christ Jesus. Y'all, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get through so some time. Don't, 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 don't run out. Okay, listen, listen what it says. It says, "Whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not yet believing." He says, "Whom, whom having not seen, ye love him, and whom." In whom though now ye see him not yet believing. Yes, the manifestation has not taken place yet. You haven't seen him show up yet. But yet you believe him. You know what I'm saying? Church, yes. Yes, I'm, I am like Job. Though you disappoint me, yet I'll trust you. Hallelujah. Yes, you disappoint me. I'm disappointed. But I still trust you. Oh, Holy Ghost, I still trust you, though. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, In whom having not, in whom having not seen your love, and whom though now ye see him not yet believing, listen, listen, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. God said, That's the attitude you take when your faith is on trial. You rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's what the scripture about Abraham said. Uh, and I'm, I'm, oh God, let me, let me hurry. It said, listen, 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 listen what, what the ninth verse says. It says, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. God says, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Until you receive the manifestation of your faith. God says, I just want to hear you rejoicing. With joy unspeakable and full of glory. Until you receive the salvation, until you receive the end of your faith, or the manifestation of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. God is saying, until I come get you, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it don't feel good while you're waiting. Hallelujah. Yes, I understand. I mean, your faith has been tried with fire, but remember the, the definition of the word fire, though. It is the holiness of God that is consuming everything that don't line up with itself that was in my life. God is God is saying, Bill, I'm, I'm breaking you to another level. While your faith is on trial, but I need to hear you rejoicing. Hey, Shabbat, Nineveh, Hosanna, with joy, Hallelujah, unspeakable. Hey, God, and full of glory, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, glory be to God. Yes, now, my time is just about, about to run out now. So this is. Prophet Bill Starworth of the Living Word of God, Worldwide Evangelist to Faith Ministry. Until next time, God bless you. Praise God.